Epic battles between iconic heroes and villainous villains have been fought for generations. But what about the little man, the red shirt, the cannon fodder, the grunt? Welcome to Grunt Battle, celebrating the uncelebrated. Because behind every great man are thousands of loyal soldiers. And we're going to have a tournament showdown to see which is the baddest of the bad. From the Super Mario series, the Goomba, the scourge of the Mushroom Kingdom, and the faithful followers of Bowser, a grassroots movement given they were grown from the ground up. Their traditional tactic has been to fearlessly face their foe and march towards them. Their mere touch, deadly. But they have a few new tricks up their lack of sleeves. They fly, they charge, they even come in stacks. But are the odds stacked against them? Look, I didn't recruit the Goombas just so they could die in large numbers. They would be the most feared creatures in the land to anyone who can't jump. Like, uh, hey, who's someone who can't jump? Oh yeah, just like a Goomba. Hey, what? And their competitor from the Mega Man series, the Mad. Meanwhile, in the year 20XX, the cyborg army legions of Dr. Wily terrorize the world. The Mets come with robust bulletproof helmets, protecting them from almost any attack, long enough to blast their opponents with a rapid fire counterfire, which can cause the most devastating move of all the Rage Quit. What? The helmets? They were just thrown together out of scrap. I've made much greater machines. Can't we just talk about those? I even made a robot that's powered by tears. Do you know how hard that was to make? Ah, my genius is never appreciated. So mean. <laughs> Test your might. The Goomba and the Met are so strong. Well, uh, they don't need to prove their strength. They have other unique abilities as explained by Sergeant Shoulders, former armed forces and weapon tactician, and Dr. D-Pad, our medical expert. Compared to the Goombas, the pathetic Mets stand no chance. They don't even stand. The Mets weren't designed for their mobility. Weak! But, but, but that's just the standard Met. The Neo Met, for example, is way more technologically advanced. They can walk. And this one can dance. <laughs> Scary, right? Whereas the mighty Goombas are way more biologically versatile. Like the Cat Goomba. The feline genetics to attack with its furry, ferocious pounds. This kitty isn't adorable. It's deplorable! Let's not forget the Goomba equipped with the Karibo shoe, granting them with terrifying stomping abilities, as well as a buff in style and fashion. If looks could kill, we're all doomed. I suppose the Helimet's aerial attacks could be devastating. A potentially massive area of effect, and for the Goombas with their large, soft, spongy heads, this visks concussion, brain damage, and maybe a run up. The Mets also have a swimmer, so because we're not fighting underwater, this makes this guy's attacks totally unpredictable. Don't turn your back on him, or your front. Just leave the room if you can. Blood gushing out, brains turned into mushy goo, bones ripped apart. Then you have the Paragoomba who can attack from above, and the Micro Goomba attack from below. Trust me, you don't want to be the filling to a para Micro Goomba sandwich. In my medical opinion, these shiitake won't be taking any. Can I say shit? Uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. The Mets have the edge thanks to their indestructible helmet. Their tactic is to shoot and hide. I'm just gonna hide. Excuse me. With all this data gathered, we can run a simulation of the battle. We can, but we won't. It's battle time. Three, two, one, go! Oh, out of nowhere. Never underestimate the little guy. Looks like these boots were made for more than just walking. Triple kill! Let's see an action replay. Ah, 
I didn't care about this until five minutes ago! <laughs> the Goombas stood no chance from the bullet fire, just like many of my test subjects and grandparents. But the Met's strength is in their defense, so the more they opened up, the more vulnerable they were, just like me in any relationship in my entire life, really. The Goombas recklessly died in droves, just to kill one opponent. And I, I couldn't be more proud. The grunts of the Mario series move on to the next round. We will soon see who the next Mario grunt will be. But it's nature versus technology, as the beasts of the Donkey Kong Country take on the metal monsters of the Green Hill Zone. Next time in Grunt Battle! Don't worry, Mets. I know just what to do. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so sad. <laughs>